I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. Running back and forth across America for a year and a half, retracing the journey made by Forrest Gump in the 1994 Oscar winning movie. I caught up with him last year when he came through our area. A veterinarian from Liverpool in the UK literally put his life on hold to undertake one of the most remarkable athletic feats ever, running 40, 50, even 60 miles a day to raise money for charity and chase a lifelong dream. Rob Pope, who I like to call His Holiness of Long Distance Running, he's with us tonight from Flagstaff, Arizona, just south of Monument Valley, where he finished this epic journey. Rob, the big question I have for you now is, how do you feel? You've run more than 15,500 miles. Your, your legs got to hurt a little bit. Yeah, this is just an opportunity to crack the axe nose, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. Rob, let's, let's go backwards in time to when you started this journey in, in September of 2016. I, I want to know what motivated you to do this. And, and when you took the first steps on the first day, did you ever think that you would be able to reach this pinnacle moment and actually finish this epic run? <laughs> Not really. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an optimist at heart, but I, and my initial motivation, I'd wanted to run across America for ages and ages. Uh, but then I just realized that doing something big like this, you couldn't just do it for your own personal benefit, you know, so... I decided once to raise money for like you know, a charity or a couple of charities. I'm not just going to run across America once. I'm going to try and see if I can do the Forest Gump run. I didn't tell anyone that because, you know, I didn't want to uh, sort of crow too much at the start. And also because I didn't think I could do it. Even when I got to Santa Monica for the first time, putting one front of the other and eventually sort of, uh, you know, we were halfway there and then you're ticking the miles down rather than up and that makes a huge difference. You had to go out of your way to do a lot of these. I mean, these are places that a lot of Americans uh, haven't been to. I mean, the famous lighthouse uh, uh, in Maine, uh, Grandfather Mountain uh, in North Carolina, the, the Santa Monica Pier. I mean, you had to be part cartographer, part runner, because you had to map this whole thing out. Yeah, a friend of mine actually asked me earlier today, how often were you looking at the map? And I was like, you know, I, I felt like I'd gone back to school to do my geography, you know? You've documented your journey uh, on social media. And one of the things that you said is that your mother, before she passed away, told you to do something that, that makes a big difference. Do one thing that really makes a big difference in this life. Do you, and this is what you took on to do that. Why do you think this run has made a difference, Rob? It makes somebody smile, just makes someone's life a little bit better. Well, we got tons of messages saying, you've inspired me to do this. You know, sort of, uh, even like sort of had a message of someone just said, you know, you've inspired me to run and I never thought I could. Now, that's, that's unbelievable that, that I could do that. You put your life on hold to do this run at, at, at a great personal cost. We had life savings that we were going to spend on a, you know, a house deposit. And you see that suddenly tick away. But there's always a, no, no, someone, someone will come in. That if we had a dollar in our pocket, a dollar to get food, and I could take a step forward, we had to carry on. I was always going to have to be dragged off the course, you know, by some reason or another. And we've actually got some video here of an engagement that happened in Monument Valley. Uh, yeah, well, it sort of had been on the cards for a while. Um, but then you think sort of, oh, when, when can I do it? And then during the course of the run, I thought, well, she sacrificed so much for me. And she said, yes, more than once. You, can, you can't take it back if you say yes more than once. You've done an amazing job. You've raised over $50,000 for your two charities, the World Wildlife Fund and Peace Direct. Rob, it has been fantastic knowing you and following you over the course of this journey. We wish you all the best for you and your family and now your fiancé as well. Best of luck, my friend. Safe travels back home. Thank you so much.